Here we go. My friends, it is truly remarkable. It's just been announced that GoldenEye 007, for the first time ever, will be re-released, a remastered version for Nintendo Switch and Xbox, and I just wanted to make a video sharing my thoughts on what this might mean for GoldenEye, for GoldenEye speedrunners, and everything beyond. So join me as I turn on some fun cheats and play some good old-fashioned GoldenEye and mess around and discuss my thoughts on this new GoldenEye re-release. So, you know, I woke up the uh, other day and uh, there was big news. Oh my goodness, GoldenEye's being re-released for Switch and Xbox. It's truly amazing. And I thought to myself, you know, wow, it's going to be the insane version that was leaked, uh, you know, a little while ago, showing the uh, updated uh, textures and level design. It was supposed to come out for Xbox 360 back in 2007 for the 10th anniversary of GoldenEye, which is kind of funny because now, obviously, this whole announcement is sort of for the 25th anniversary of GoldenEye. And I was pretty pumped. I was like, oh my god, finally this game that was supposed to come out is going to come out. It's truly amazing. And in fact, I even was talking to a buddy of mine who is, you know, a real Xbox gamer about, you know, what Xbox I should get and how to, you know, buy Microsoft Live Gold and convert it into Game Pass and all this kind of stuff. I was, you know, ready to rock. I'm like, okay, GoldenEye's coming out. We're going to get a new version of the game and it's going to be epic and I definitely want to play it. But pretty quickly I realized that it is not that you know, Xbox version that was leaked uh, one or two years ago that is going to be released. Or, I guess, officially released for the first time. That is not the case. That's not the version of the game coming out. It is simply a, you know, technically remastered version of the game, but really it's just like an upscale, a 4K upscale for Switch and Xbox. And I thought, okay, you know, that is uh, a little bit less exciting. I don't think I'll be, you know, jumping out of my chair to go acquire an Xbox anytime soon. You know, I do have a Switch, and so I could play it there if I really want. But, you know, that's leaving a little bit to be desired, I would say. And the reason I say that is because, you know, now all of a sudden from going from this new version of GoldenEye that I initially thought might be coming out... It's just the same old GoldenEye, except, you know, it's on Nintendo Switch, and it'll probably be worse controls. It'll probably be a bit laggy online. And you'll probably have to pay, you know, a, a silly monthly fee, a subscription to, to play it on the regular. And so none of this really sounds all that appealing to me, unfortunately. You know, it's pretty well established that a lot of these, um... Nintendo Switch releases have a lot of input lag when it comes to playing the game. You know, there's a very famous series of tweets from Speedrunner 2 Fool about the Ocarina of Time re-release on Nintendo Switch and how really it's not that good at all. You know, there's substantial input delay, which certainly makes it less attractive to speedrunners. And, you know, it's okay to play through the game casually, but it's far from ideal. And, you know, it certainly was announced that this version of GoldenEye will have online play. And certainly my fear is that there will be much input delay when, when playing online on the Nintendo Switch. And that will certainly not be the most optimal experience now is it better than than nothing sure sure it is but you know there was another series of tweets from Grasslu, and he's you know the go-to guy when it comes to goldeneye especially he's you know much more tuned in when it comes to these sorts of releases and all the kind of legal battles that have been going on as far as goldeneye goes for over the years and he pointed out that, you know, there's not even a upgrade to the HUD or the text or anything like that. It's really basically a port, you know, it's, I guess, technically a remaster 
upscale, but it's basically just a port, a golden eye onto Switch and Xbox. And Grassloop points out that, you know, even Banjo-Kazooie back in 2008 or somewhere around then when it was put out on Xbox, uh, it even had kind of cleaner text and upgraded visuals as far as that goes. And GoldenEye won't even have that. It doesn't seem like that right now. Now, of course, all we've seen are sort of, you know, some early announcement trailers and screenshots and stuff. So it's hard to, you know, know exactly what the final product will be like. But I kind of agree, and it doesn't seem like there's anything too impressive or different when it comes to this re-release of GoldenEye. Now, that being said, there are a couple of notable positives that I, I think to, there are to take away from this re-release. And that is, you know, for one, the good news is that finally there are enough uh, of these companies involved, you know, Nintendo, Rare, Microsoft... And then, of course, the James Bond ones, MGM in particular, that are finally all working together to the point of releasing the game. And so, you know, that's positive. That sort of suggests that these places are willing to work together now and maybe get GoldenEye releases, you know, on the go. You know, who knows? Maybe someday there will be uh, some sort of final recovery and re-release of the updated graphics version, you know, the one that leaked last year. I would say it's probably quite a long shot, but, you know, the fact that the companies are working together enough to release a game, I would say at least gives that some hope, a sliver of hope. Wow, it's DK Mode Bond putting away his weapon, it's insane. And, you know, another cool thing for sure is going to be multiplayer, if that is you know, online and you can, you know, play with people on the internet. Wow, it's amazing. Um, you know, because Goldmine multiplayer is really what made it sort of the game it was. You know, it was so impressive, so enthralling of a multiplayer experience back in the 90s that it really added to the lore of the game it, it made it an attractive game for a lot of young lads to play and enjoy and without that i do wonder how prominent the speed running of the game would have become so multiplayer is definitely a huge factor in that and a lot of people they only know the game from multiplayer and their epic matches you know back in high school in some dingy basement or whatever against the boys you know they have matches that they're still talking about to this very day and so it definitely will be cool to see multiplayer matches online in real time if that happens um but again i'm, I'm a little apprehensive about how excited i am for that because i kind of doubt that they'll be very playable without too much input lag I kind of think, you know, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it, if there's clean multiplayer port and, uh, you know, the game isn't just completely broken or, or very troll to play because it's, you know, the inputs are laggy and everyone has a different sort of lag and it's just not a good, good situation. You know, I can totally envision that being the case and the game just not end up being that exciting to play multiplayer against other people. Again, I hope I'm proven wrong in that regard. I hope it's super exciting and intense. And we'll get to see some cool epic multiplayer matches because there have certainly been some amazing multiplayer matches in history and it would be cool to see even more uh this time you know they'll often be streamed or uploaded to youtube or something like that and that would be super cool to see and i hope i do see that soon and of course there is the chance with a official release finally on two consoles that you know there are new people who come around and are excited to play goldeneye and they learn that it's a cool game and they learn to enjoy the game and who knows maybe they'll even begin speedrunning the game in some regard and you know that brings me to an interesting point when it comes to speedrunning and how this will affect the future of speedrunning the game because you know i think it would be silly or go against you know a lot that the elite the golden eye and perfect dark speedrunning community has done thus far to rank switch and xbox runs on the main rankings like that will never happen nor do i think it should but it might get people interested in the game you know if, if they play the switch or xbox version for the first time and they enjoy it then maybe they'll get an n64 and play the official the, the true official original game and speed run it there 
and that's possible. And likewise, there will probably be a speedrunning community that pops up specifically when it comes to the Switch version, the Xbox version, you know, as there is and have been for emulated versions or the Xbox leak re-release version. And so I expect that'll be the case too, and we'll see people speedrunning there. And who knows, you know, maybe they'll discover some new strategies with some new perspective. Um, that's kind of how we saw the Bunker 2 Jail Cell Arlene Warp get discovered uh, through an emulator player, Akadi, and that's a, a crazy story. And maybe we'll see something more like that as well. You know, one thing that would be super cool, and I would put this more on the unlikely end of things, but because it is going to be some element of online play, you know, it would be epic if they had an in-game leaderboards with your best time on screen and uh, had sort of a ranked speedrun leaderboard uploaded, you know, in the Switch or Xbox ecosystems. You know, that would be insane, but I really, really doubt that'll happen. But again, who knows? I, uh, you know, I'll be pleasantly surprised if it does. And yeah, so ultimately, you know, it's certainly cool news that there is finally a officially re-released version you know, this has been a huge sort of development hell type of thing for many, many years. Um, you know, especially the, the, the people who own the rights to the movies and the character James Bond really, I guess, didn't like Goldeneye. You know, that's what I'm pretty sure I've heard from back in the day. They didn't like how it was basically this game where you went around passing away so many guards, you know. Uh, they wanted it to be more of a, a, a spy, uh, espionage, yeah, pacifist sneaky stealth game not one where you know you, like right now i'm running around shooting grenade launchers at tons of these russian guards but uh you know it's they never really loved how there was just so much i guess violence in the game and they were always tentative and hesitant to put the james bond stamp back on this game and so it is cool that they are finally going about and doing that that's no doubt and it does potentially pave the path for more cool things to come along and look this re-release which is you know basically a port i'm not gonna uh, sugarcoat it could turn out to be cool because of you know multiplayer matches or you know maybe the controls work out well maybe it's fun a fresh breath there to play this game on a new console again and so maybe it'll work out being very cool but you know i have pretty mild hopes i would say and uh, I guess we'll await for more announcements and uh, we'll see what happens, you know? Regardless, those are my, you know, pretty unfiltered thoughts on what I think, what I expect uh, about GoldenEye from this new uh, announcement here. And um, I would love to hear your thoughts. You know, are you excited to play on Switch or Xbox uh, at all? Does it interest you at all? You know, there's certainly not as much depth of lore uh, that's been established yet. You know, there's 25 years of that on the N64 version. And so that'll certainly take some time to uh, get set and get rolling if it does ever happen. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So let me know. And uh, I'm sure I'll be active uh, in the comments hearing what you guys got to say. So thanks for watching. In the meantime, I've got a couple more cool videos planned about some uh, urban legends and myths and things of that nature uh, from the N64 era. So come along, subscribe, and uh, hey, I'll see you in the next stream or video. Stay true, my friends. I know I said those out of order this time around, so GG, baby. GG.